but in a world full of so much hopelessness how does one even genuinely boost your optimism that's the question of the day <music>
and they don't always have that bright outlook so they can't be ran over very easily you need to have a little bit of that because it gives you a level of caution so that's why a little daily dose of pessimism is still recommended but you don't want to have so much so that it is completely taken over your optimism or your realistic outlook on life overall now number three number three number three i probably should have put this in number one so i will say this now these are not in any particular order but if i had to number them this would be my number one label your negative thoughts and set them aside do not i repeat do not give them too much attention because when you do so you're only making them more powerful again label your negative thoughts and set them aside it's not saying you should completely abandon the idea that negative thoughts exist. It's rather to just label them, give them a minimal amount of attention to understand that they they are there, that they are arising, that you, you have had this negative thought, but not to feed into it to the extent where that thought now takes over your day and then that day rolls into another day which rolls into another day now your entire week is screwed up next thing you know your whole month is jacked up because of one negative thought and this is why i think it is important to not give them too much attention because you're gonna you're only going to empower them and that's the worst thing to do especially when it comes to anything that starts off with negative negative. and number four last but not least understanding the root cause of someone's pessimistic outlook can lead to creative ideas that can boost their mood now if you try to tackle any problem in life you know that you first have to understand how did that how did that problem arise what turn did you take what error did you make that caused this problem to become a part of your life that is how you first tackle anything even when you were going to school and you started learning things, you started out learning the basics. You started learning what numbers were before you learned to add them up. It's the same concept here. You want to understand how did a person get to the point of being pessimist? You know, how did they get to the point of, of having a pessimistic outlook on life? If, if it was a breakup, then now you can tackle it by understanding that they see love or relationship as being negative or people is being negative because they've been hurt by this guy or this girl. Now you can tackle it by getting them to understand that it's not their fault or however you want to deal with the situation. Same thing, losing a job. You have to understand that it's the job loss. Maybe it's losing the income. Maybe it's not being able to sustain and pay your bills. And, you know, it was better living paycheck to paycheck than not having a paycheck at all. Whatever it is, you have to understand the root cause of it in order to be able to better aid that person and that's why these are my four steps to combating pessimism all right all right i want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out to be here with me to watch my video and like i've stressed in many videos before i think it's very crucial information that i pass out mental health awareness is very important there's so many of us that are suffering from it that don't know i didn't know that i was suffering from depression when i got diagnosed with it i just thought Maybe I was ill, maybe I was just really sad. You know, I never thought it was depression at all. Um, and then, you know, going in and talking to my doctor and getting tested and everything, you know, that's when I was diagnosed. And that's why I wanna help people out because we, a lot of us don't know that we're going through something far beyond than just having a bad day. It's so much more than just having a bad day. Anyways, definitely hit the subscribe button. Again, if you're new on here, if you feel like the video is beneficial to you hit the notification bell so you can stay in tune on when the videos are uploaded as well thumbs up the video share comment in the comment box below if you have something to say i'll put my uh social media in the description box below so if you want to follow me on social media you will have those there as well thank you thank you thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all for rocking with me y'all stay tuned i got many more to come bless